Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode from the Afterlife SMP, and today we are back on our mountain, in our mountain base. We're on Afterlife, in our mountain base, yes. And in the last episode, if you haven't caught it, we built up this little, this little, uh, building here, which I'm thinking we eventually expand out to here in a future date, perhaps in this episode, we'll have to see if we can get to that far. Um, but I already showed you guys, but look over here. I've been terraforming quite a bit out in this area, and we are going to be building something here. Okay, let me just tell you, we're building a giant waterfall. I'm really excited, uh, flowing right down this, this entire area, right, right here. And I'm thinking we build like a little waterway, um, up top there. I think it'll be really awesome. Like a stream running across up here, which will be really awesome. Uh, just add a little bit of interest up here, but firstly, to start out, uh, that's close, to start out today's video, I still need to do just a little bit more terraforming out here, so nothing starts out a video good without a good old time lapse, so, uh, without further ado, let's, uh, just do some terraforming. What's up guys, Editing Ash here, and I hope you're enjoying the time lapse, uh, it's kind of just stone mining, sometimes I talk over time lapses, uh, because why not and it's kind of fun so yeah I hope you in enjoy me anyways what I actually came here to say is that I accidentally forgot to turn off chat on the left side yeah kind of a, a dumb move by me but and man guys after I built this like I I I'm doing this after I made the whole episode you know recorded everything this looks really freaking awesome uh, so stay tuned it's pretty good I'm really happy with the outcome even though it's still not finished but yeah, I'll let the rest of this time lapse play out, and we'll continue on with building it and some other stuff. Okay then, our terraforming is looking really fantastic, and I want to add a uh, little tower kind of right there. That's kind of why I flattened out that part. Oh, and this is going to look so cool, guys. i um, super excited, and we'll get to that blue thing in a little bit. But... You see this? There's like nine people online right now, and that means there's something going on. I mean, it's pretty uncommon for nine people to be on. And that is an Easter egg hunt our Torvin has set up, and I'm here for the hunt. I I'm here, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure we have to sign up first, though. So I got some diamonds. I want to go see if there's like a, a sign up option uh, at spawn somewhere. Now, aha! That looks like an Easter basket or of, of some sorts, and a giant bunny. Oh my goodness. Oh hey, look, we actually found our first egg just chilling right here. We'll grab that, but first we gotta go sign up. Hello, Jay. How do we get in here? Aha, payment chest. Let's get these going in here. Yeah, hi. Okay, let's go Let's go hunting. Um, Yes, we already got one. Ooh, our first rare. That's pretty nice. Okay, okay. Oh, this is great. Um, We just gotta check in everywhere. Um, I don't know. In here, in here, everywhere, guys. I'm just gonna do like some quick cuts oh oh come on come on come on come on no ah oh. okay so that's what i get for trying to kill him and oh my gosh thank you blonde skunk for building this scaffolding tower oh man i am actually for once appreciating a way back up to the top get him get him get him get him get him yeah no oh they're teaming come on come on come on we can get this come on come on we can get him come on no uh, no i didn't mean to hit gv i don't want to kill him yet oh this is so intense I've, I've never had like such an intense pvp battle on the server oh my gosh this is no big deal because guess what they don't realize that i have another entrance yes get him no he has a punch bow this is unfair I don't have that. <laughs> get him, get him, get him. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate it. They're teaming. This is so unfair. Uh, but it's part of the game. Eat, eat food, eat food. No, no. Come on. Get him. Oh, dang. Ah, uh, this is, this is really bad. Oh, man. Okay, well, I got my gear back. I think I'm pretty much done 
with the uh, PvP at least. So I'm gonna go around find some more eggs. By the way, I found my first legendary egg. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I didn't really realize there were teams in this. Um, yeah, until then. Yeah, I'll keep continuing and um, oh, who's calling me? Um, hold on, I, I gotta take this. You guys can just, I'm just gonna keep continuing getting eggs, but I, there's a phone call. What the heck? For both me and GP. Okay, oh, okay, hold on. Uh, gentlemen, thank you for taking my call. Sorry I can't be there in person. I have some, um, some issues with grandma I have to deal with. Mm. Uh, everything's fine. Grandma. No stress. Everything's fine. Um, I just thought I should give you some more details on the, the, the river job I hired you for. Yeah. Go on. You, you, you should be standing at my docks, right? Yeah. Kind of on the bridge, right by your docks. Okay, so that little bridge that connects to the ocean, you can start at that spot, so... Maybe figure out something that goes into the ocean that makes sense. You can terraform the land as well a little bit if you need to. If you're pointing away from the docks, it will go left around a farm there. Yeah, I'm following yep. that now. So I'd, I'd like most of the sand to go away, unless it's like a little sandbar maybe by the ocean makes sense. I don't know. But we remove the sand all through the place. A nice terraforming, as I mentioned, not too tropical more with the farmy decor it makes sense with the area yeah, and then yeah, it yeah. goes all the way around there should be three buildings more or less over another bridge yep yep we and see it that. goes around extension with a bit of farmland on your right hand if it's on your right hand mm -hmm. the river should continue all the way to the corner at the back with some trees on the side i should be expanding that way i'm not sure so you can terraform a little bit in there, but you don't need to go all the way. We can figure that out at a later point. A new contract, if I do expand more. But um, I, I think you can get, get a picture of more or less that river, mm -hmm. that area over there. Yeah, this looks I think pretty we, good. I mean... Right to these signs. Yeah, there's, there's sort of like a... It, it narrows towards the, the tip, and then we'll just sort of stop right there. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. And we can we can narrow the river if we need to, or if you'd prefer leaving it the same width the whole way. Um, you are the expert, so if if it, if you think it looks good, do what you have to. Okay, that yep. sounds like a plan then. Uh, if it's a good job, I'll hire you for the next project. All right. Oh, of course, good. it's going to be a good job. <laughs> there you go, Ash. That's how you do it. <laughs> okay. 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 Cool. I'll I'll leave you to your building then, and we'll catch up. Yep. All right, Ash, well, it looks like we ought, to, we ought to get to doing some work here, cleaning out the sand. Mm-hmm, and adding much more decor that is much needed for this river. Oh, it's just not looking very good right now. It's looking pretty, pretty crappy, and uh, it's about to look really good after my shovel gets a hold of it. Mm -hmm. My <laughs> shovel, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right, let's yeah. get to work. Okay, then, well, me and G to the P, no, GP. Yeah, we've been working on filling out the river, replacing all the sand with dirt. It's looking pretty bland so far. And I will hope to fix that right now because we're going to be adding just a little bit of stoneage. Yeah, like some some rocks in the river because that's, that's what's in rivers, right? Yeah, rocks? Yeah, so literally just simply coming in here and adding little pieces of rocks. And I'm going to get some stairs and hopefully make that look a little bit a little bit better than just a random stone blob down there. Um, but yeah, also GP has gone away, gone to bed. So unfortunately, that'll be it from him right now. So yeah, guys, I need to go ahead and finalize some of the stuff around here, getting the stones in, uh, you know, kelp, seagrass, all the cool stuff. And then hopefully we can finish up our waterfall back at our base. Alrighty then, guys, I'm pretty sure we can call this a job well done at KB's River. Look at this. Oh, running through this with all the seagrass. I meant to add some kelp, but I think it's okay. He can add kelp if he wants to. And we got little pieces of rocks in here. You know, using a little bit of granite and andesite. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, I love walking through here. It looks really great. And now we're going to head back to our mountain base because we got some more terraform to do around there. Right, so I've actually got a little bit more um, stone placing I need to do. As you can see by this blue concrete, this is going to kind of be like a natural bridge. I was going to build like a big bridge here, but I, I'm, I'm really enjoying the natural feel. Um, I think that we can get going on in here. So I think we actually need to do another time lapse, simply because this is just a lot of grind work. So let's, let's hop to it.
All right, time lapse done, and I really love this natural bridge. I mean, it doesn't really look like anything yet, but it's gonna look really cool once we get like some grass going on here. Oh man! Um, but I want to revert our attention over to this spot right here, because um, me and GP we need a bigger storage system for well all of our landscaping stuff. Like there's some, gonna be some huge landscaping project we undertake, and well. Yeah, we kind of just need a big space for it. So, um, right behind the, this little, this is where the waterfall is going to flow if you're curious. Um, we're going to build a storage system running right back here. So there's a lot of digging to be done and making storage and all that boring stuff. I mean, you don't want to watch this. So let me just uh, get to it. Okay, guys, we are here with GP because I've just finished up our landscaping storage. And since he's our partner in the landscaping business, I thought I would show him um and that block that block oh there's one block just <laughs> sitting there no thank you um but yeah you Be can just gone. come on and fly right through this little little spot oh right man here. i love this yep this is awesome just a small storage system still an undecorated cave gotta get to that but yeah as you can see we got our little storage set up here um, this is kind of just everything else we're gonna need. This is the bulk stuff and uh, Yeah, you know what you need you need some kind of like thing on the side like uh, I don't know if you have plans or not But some sort of like villager head or some kind of totem a statue mm -hmm. We'll see on either side. There's a lot of stuff I could do with a big flat stone face, but we'll figure it out figure it out Yeah And obviously there's that nat natural bridge if I can fall. That looks really good and that looks really good. Yeah, your place is really, uh, really starting to develop here. Mm -hmm. Still, so much to do though. Still, a lot to do. You need those, uh, those dirt droppings on that, uh, that sky island here. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Same ones that we have over at the shop over there. Well, thanks for coming to check out my area, and I'm glad we can have a, a nice community storage system for the both of us for all of our yeah. landscaping needs glad you built this because this is going to be so helpful in storing all of our other items mm -hmm. and the best part let me, let me show you the best part you can get up to yeah. the nether portal island with one rocket barely well kind of barely. oh wow look at that yeah. that'd be like an interesting way to design a base you just have the entire place one rocket accessible mm-hmm Okay, well, I gotta get back range. to work here. I'm sure you got yeah, okay, you some do other that. things. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you, hey, get out of here. <laughs> I'm sure you've got okay. some other things to do, but I'll catch you in a bit. Oh, oh, uh, oh. one thing. Do you have leaves? <gasps> I do. Oh, you're right. I do have leaves. Lots of jungle leaves just for you. I meant there to, we go. I meant to give those. And that. Oh, my shulker boxes. I nice. think I think I might have some stuff in one of them. I might have Yeah, there's... That. What is in here? Do you want? Do you want that? No, you can. You can have that. That's fine. Okay, perfect. Thanks for the. Yeah, I'm gonna put these to good use. I gotta finish the satellite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, catch you later. All right. See ya. Okay. Well, then I appreciate GP for coming out and checking out my bills. It was really great. Glad to show him around. Um, but yeah, we still got a lot of stuff to do, and I've added this melted dirt. Uh, chocolate he calls it like dirt droppings interesting um it, it's not it's not poop it's 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 not droppings okay anyways we got lots more stuff to do here and firstly he did mention that i probably should do something with this flat stone face and i 100 percent agree um and i had an idea so since we are building on such a large scale with this uh waterfall right we can actually um use some really unique blocks like how I'm doing with this, where I'm using like blue and this, just this weird palette of blocks. We can do some interesting stuff with this. And so I thought we could use a little bit of granite to break up the gray. We're going to use some granite uh, coming up like, I don't know, some, some rock formation. And we're not only going to be using granite for this, I want to also use a little bit of diorite um, around here. I think that'll work. But yes, having some granite poking up through here and then, um, you know, even more. I don't want this flat stone face to be uh, just stone. We can add some other gray materials, 
like, for example, I'm going to get some cyan terracotta. Yeah, I don't actually have any. That's not very good. Um, I have five pieces, so I need to go ahead and grab that. But I'm going to continue to hopefully push this granite up like this, and I think it'll look really awesome. This will help a lot of much needed color around here, because this is just so gray. And that's exactly what I've been trying to do with this blue. That's exactly what I'm trying to do with all these trees around here. Which, by the way, we're going to be adding some more of these huge dark oak trees in that area. So, uh, I guess let me just get to it. Okay, well guys, I promise this is the last progress update. Um, I'm, I'm getting a little tired of terraforming, but uh, let me just show you what I've been doing. Oh man, it looks really awesome so far. Um, and I need your guys' opinion on something real quick. Uh... But first, let me show you this. Oh yes, it looks beautiful. And I've added a little bit of concrete powder at the bottom and some wool just to add a little bit of interesting colors, I guess. But I need your opinion. Uh, do you guys want better leaves on for these videos or better leaves off? Because I'm really liking these uh, default, the default leaves. Like, look at that. That looks really cool. What about this? This is the better leaves add-on. Uh, by Jermsey Boy, and look at this, this looks also really good, and I just can't decide uh, which one I want to have on videos, because both of them look so good, but uh, I just, yeah, it's it's a tough decision to make, so I need your guys' opinion, better leaves or no better leaves, they both look great, and uh, also, I added some aspen trees in here too, so we got three types of trees in this little custom forest here. But as I said, I'm getting a little tired of building up these uh, custom trees and doing all this terraforming. I want to do a little bit of a... I want to do something right here. A, I want to do a big old tower. Like, just, just something right here that's not terraforming. Because as you know guys, we have this fortress right here. This, this fortress of blue is what I'm calling it. Uh, no name, but it just has a blue roof, so... We need to build some stuff here. So what I have here is a little bit of Prismarine from helping Puffing Fish mine out his guardian temple uh, for his guardian farm. And he just gifted me a bunch of this as we mined, so that's really great. Might use some of that dark Prismarine, eh? So I was hoping to incorporate that with this design, but first I need to actually uh, do do something. I need to build something, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> so let me get work on a base layout. I don't know how I want to do this, but... Uh, we'll figure it out. I'll, I'll, I'll catch you guys in a sec. Okay, just a quick side note here, guys, uh, before we get back to building. I checked my potion shop, and, and look at this. We're we're absolutely rich from this shop. Yeah, I gotta do a little bit of restocking here. Uh, learn that skunk and puffing fish have been buying, like, all of my potions. So, uh, yeah, that's kinda cool. Anyways, back to the mountain base. Okay, so there we go. That was actually a lot simpler to make this design than I thought it would be. Yeah, I'm on a mission, guys, to make skunk... You know, he's online right now. Um, I'm trying to make him, like, diagonals. Oh, and I'm making a, de a design change. I'm not a not a full fan of this, but I think that could be an interesting shape to work with. Yeah, we'll have some fun with this. But Skunk, he does not like building in diagonals, and why why not? It's They're great. I'm trying to make him like diagonals, so we really got to show him um, the impressive diagonal building skills of mine. Right? My, my diagonal skills are impressive. Right? Yeah, guys? I, I, I don't know. Whatever. Let me get to building some of this. Okay, then. I've come up with a, a shape I am pretty happy with. Um, and check this out. This is something I don't see a lot of people doing with towers. A lot of time I see towers that are symmetrical. And what I'm trying to do here is we're going to have two different... Okay, so this there's going to be another central part going up further. But these are kind of the... the, the some, these are the first roofs. I'm struggling with how to say this, but uh, we're, we're going to have roofs here, and then I'm going to continue the tower uh, coming up more this way. So, uh, we'll, we'll see about this, um, but for now, I want to get these in. And something you may notice about these two structures is this one kind of looks a little more medieval than that one. And here's my reasoning. I'm going with no style for this place at all. I'm going to do whatever I think will look cool. Um, and that's kind of what I'm doing with this. I'm following no style at all. Uh, there's no theme with this. I'm just building, and it could be a mishmash of like, uh, like what Mediterranean, steampunk, I don't know, medieval. It could be just a mash of, heck, we'll I, we'll even have modern in here. It's gonna be crazy. I don't know why I'm deciding to do this, but I think it'll just it'll just look cool. All right, you gotta trust me on this. Uh, like a lot of a lot of people last episode were like. 
pretty unsure about all of my choices with the orange terracon to the blue roof to the weird dark oak lining and I agree it's it's very weird and I've, I've played this I placed this wrong I guess you can call this style if I had to come up with a style for this fortress it would be called the ash style it's, it's just a mishmash of everything um, yeah, so I'm gonna continue with this uh, again like that that log very controversial Like a lot of people were weird weirded out by me mixing in like diorite and stone and everything and I agree I agree it is a very very weird and it, It's something that's grown on me to the point where I actually like it. Okay, so there we go with the tower uh, It looks all right. It looks all right. Um, definitely need some more details in there to make it look a little spicier yeah, um, but this, this is where I think the tower will really shine, because something, a tower needs to be supported by something, in my opinion. I think, you can't just have a standalone tower, I think it looks a little weird that way. Um, so we're going to add this diagonal building, and I think for this we'll kind of do the same thing as we did over there with that one. Um, just build up a little bit, oh, I need to sleep, Blonde Skunk's not on. Uh, he's, he's basically the guy that sleeps on the server except with this one we're going to have a uh, prismarine roof instead of the blue I just want to mix up the colors a little bit add two types of roofs because if you have one type of roof in an area uh, honestly it looks a little weird it just I, I think you need a little bit more color than just one like roof color you get what I mean okay so I'm going to add this small little stone brick lip and uh, that that should be right there and we're going to add the blue roof then I uh, yep and I think it'll look really cool so I'll catch up with you guys in a bit once I have this finished all right I have finished up all the details um, like yeah there we go we got some windows in here like a nice big one right here I think that looks pretty pretty good um, and I want to add like a ground cover here but uh, unfortunately guys I've run out of uh, time to make this episode um, I, I just, I've been working on this for so long, I was up till like 3 a.m. last night, working on these trees and all this terraforming here. It was pretty crazy. I don't know how much time I spent here, but it's, it's, I, I don't know. I need to get this video out to you guys. I, I can almost say that this is the wackiest build I've ever done. With all the ideas of this place in my head, uh, guys, this is gonna be the craziest, weirdest thing ever. Like, we got spikes we got curvy weird windy spikes we got a giant waterfall that needs a lot of detailing and we got a fortress made with blue roofs and uh like cliffs using wool <laughs> and concrete powder it's it's just it's weird and then all the other ideas i have in my head it's y you guys won't see anything coming <laughs> um and then a custom forest with three different types of trees. Um. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. I. Th I think. I think that means we're ending the episode. Um. Yeah. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed today. I'm trying to do more collabs with other people on the server. I'm trying to get to do one with every single person, but though that is very hard. Let me tell you, it's very hard to do that. Um. But yeah. I'm gonna continue. There's still lots of work to do here. Um. But yeah. I will see you all in the next video. Uh, goodbye.